Welcome back boys and girls and today I'm really excited about the review that I'm gonna do. Uh, I think it's the best money I spent honestly and this is gonna save my back and my knees where I'm feeling the age the most. I was talking to Ron the other day and I was talking to him about where I have uh, some knee pain and also some back pains because I did a lot of cross country when I was in high school. I did it for three years. I ran about two hours a day and then I started having problem, problems with my knees and just and then I started running and I did a lot of walking and then uh, just about three years ago I started having pains on my right knee and then recently I'm having some pains on my left knee so I'm very cautious about uh, wearing my knees out because I only have one pair God didn't give me any extra price so I have to be careful with what I have and Ron told me that um, there is a, a game card that it's an all-terrain game card that could go over in most of anything. And he told me the difference between Eastern Montana and the Western Montana. The Eastern Montana terrain is not extreme or crazy like Western. So you could actually have your game card with you. In most cases, about 90% of the time, you could have the game card with you. And about 10%, you have to have the meat on your back. And so he told me not any game card, but you know, the uh, all terrain uh, crawler by Hawks, and that's the picture that you just saw. So I went ahead and ordered that, and the price was really great because uh, MSRP on that thing was like 240 or something. And Ron told me he found one at Amazon for 199, and he told me you know it's really hard to find one. Every time he tried to uh, get one because he has one, but he he wants to replace another one and it was always sold out and so I did a little research and I found one for 150 and top of that I got $15 coupon off so that was a great deal and I just got it so I'm really excited about it so I want to show it to you and also in the eastern Montana uh, the weather is not that extreme especially the opening uh, you know opening week or opening first or second week is before the snow and it's not too cold some hunters or some years they consider it was a little too warm to hunt at all but he told me it's not too extreme but the weather can change in matters of hours so we have to prepare for it so th that's the difference and he told me that um, uh, having the advantage of having the car is that we could take the meat out ASAP because even though eastern Montana has less bear problem there is a bear problem so if if we can we want to take the meat out as soon as we can and uh, he told me on this car he was actually able to drag out a whole cow elk after removing the head and neck and so he told me this thing really works out well for him so he wanted me to give it a shot so uh, i checked it out and i was really happy with it it's 8 p.m and it is still bright outside and just look what i got omg just take a look at that. The box came, little torn or damage in the bag. I just hope everything's okay inside. This is pretty heavy. And this is a game caught by a crawler. And this was recommended to me by Ron. And he told me having this game caught is gonna save my back, my knees, and a lot of sweating. And a lot of time actually. So, uh, here it is. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with assembling it. I'm going to just assemble it and show you the final product. But the weight limit is 500 pounds. Uh, it's got a dual pipe boarding axle. It could practically go in over anything. It's got uh, no leak, never flat tires. It's got anti-tip, uh, low distribution. And I'm really, really excited. I, I mean, like I said, I don't want to spend too much money, but this is money well spent. Okay, this is basically everything that was in the box. Uh, I don't want to work in the garage because it's too hot. I'm just going to work right here. Everything feels really good. Everything came okay. The tire is really nice and heavy duty. It spins really well. And it came with a set of hardwares. And this is a handle, really nice. Um, and I'm and I was really surprised with this material as well. This fabric is really really tough. I mean, it's a definitely heavy duty. So I can't believe I I was able to get this for 135. 
I tell you, man, that was a bargain. And it seems like it's, us, you know, putting it together is going to be really easy. So I'm just going to put it together and then take it out tomorrow morning into my backyard and put some weight on it and go over a couple of uh, obstacles and see how it does. Well, this is a lot bigger than I expected. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes to put it together. The reason is the instruction was very, very basic. It doesn't tell you much. So with a better instruction, uh, one can put it together by, uh, by oneself within about probably about 15 minutes. It didn't come with any tools, so you do have to have a basic tools. But other than that, I think the product is awesome. Tires, uh, handles, bars, they're very heavy, um, heavy duty, and everything moves very smoothly. So I guess I'm going to test it out tomorrow morning in my backyard, and the real test is in October in Montana. We'll see. Okay, I put two bags of 40 pounds salt on the cart, and this should give me a pretty good idea of how it this is gonna work in the field. Okay. I think I should put the weight more toward the back than front. I think it'll be easier. <sighs> yeah, much easier. Having the weight in the back does help a lot. And today is beautiful. It's nice, dry, breezy. Yesterday it was humid, hot, and sticky. So, perfect day to check it out. Now, as I mentioned, making turn is really kind of difficult because the wheels don't turn and it's got four wheels. It's moving, it's much easier to turn. So, I guess turning isn't really a problem. Now, when you try to put this down, it's either going back all the way or it drops all the way to the front. So, uh, I wish you had something down here that could hold the cart at this angle right here. But I guess you can't have everything. I might try I might try to figure that out. Oh this is my backyard and I see a lot of deers moving. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Let's see how this thing does. It's not easy filming and pulling by myself, but it seems to be doing fine over the logs. I'm going to tackle the other one here. Should move a little quicker. Yeah, easy. He doesn't have any problem going over small logs or anything like that so far. I'm gonna try to find some bigger ones. And I wanna see how fast I can move. Oh yeah, I can move pretty quickly. This can move. Oh yeah, it's going over everything pretty easy. What's holding? Oh! There's a big stop on that thing. Let's see if you go over that big stump. Oh yeah. Easy. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Alright, here's that good size tree here. Let's see how this thing goes over this. Oh yeah. It goes over with these. Yeah, that wasn't hard at all. So even though that's not a big tree, it's a pretty good size. I'm thinking. All right, let's go through this woods right here. See how it does. There we go. Yeah. So far, it's going through everything. Yeah. Doesn't have any problem. 
let's go with this and see how that how, how that happens. Yeah. Hmm. Right, this is definitely saving my back and my knees. Okay, that one was pretty good. Except now my brand new cart is all dirty, so I can't take it inside the house. I'm gonna fold it up and leave it in the garage. And if you remove this pin right here and the pin right here, you could fold this down and fold this up. So you could store it in the garage. And the second thought, I just want to clean my garage last week, so I don't want to dirty it up. So I decided to hose it down. And as expected, it was really easy hosing it down. And it seems like it's, the fabric is water resistant. Uh, it's not getting soaked. It's, the water is actually uh, like in, in droplets. So it's definitely weather resistant. So just to give you an idea of how big this cart is, that's my hunting vehicle. It's Mitsubishi Endeavor, old one, but it's good enough for hunting and hard work. So, and then I show you once we fold that up. Fold that up really easy, but the part that has a handle on it, it's got a groove here. So you want to loosen the screw here before you actually fold it. Otherwise you might actually break it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going the wrong way. And here we go. And then fold that up. So there it is. There's a four pin. And that's being folded up. So it's not small, but you could definitely fit in, in the back of the truck or your SUV. You shouldn't have any problem. So, what do I think about the car after dragging through my little forest in my backyard? Well, it wasn't easy as I thought after putting 80 pounds. Uh, it was definitely harder than having an empty car, but I was able to drag it with one hand and film it at the same time. And I was able to pull it over the fallen trees and other stuff. So it's not too hard. And uh, I'm thinking if you have, let's say 300 pounds or 400 pounds of meat, it's definitely gonna get harder. And that's why you have a hunting buddy. You better have the meat on the car and drag it out together than having them on your back and wearing off your knees and your back and also it felt very heavy duty so i like that a lot and it was easy to clean uh, but when you're moving slow it wasn't easy to uh, make turns it wasn't easy to maneuver because uh, the front wheel doesn't turn with a handle uh, but it wasn't that difficult now um, and the other thing was it was big enough to have everything on it but it wasn't too big where you might get stuck somewhere and um, you could actually fold it up and put it in your vehicle. I, I mean, it's going to take up a space, but uh, it's definitely doable. So overall experience, I'm very happy with it. And Ron told me that uh, he better have meat on the cart and walk an extra mile uh, than having a meat on his back and try to do a shortcut. So uh, I can see why, because, you know, Ron, is, Ron, he's also feeling the age on his legs and same with me. So. I think this is really gonna help me out. And if I'm thinking about hunting more in the West, maybe hopefully every year, I wanna make sure that uh, I keep my body parts in a uh, good condition. I don't wanna wear out and then, uh, I don't wanna burn my candle too fast, sort of speak, so. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy your life with what you got, but mostly remember, take care of your body parts and it will take care of you. See ya.